Good afternoon. This is Ken Long from Tortoise Capital Management with a review of the weekly reports for June 4th, 2011. We have a market that's in bullish normal conditions. On an annual basis, it's at 56 on a score of 0 to 100 on the weekly RSI. On a 10-day NDX, it's at minus 13, meaning that it closed at a new 10-day low, almost 15% uh, out of the previous 10 days range. That's what minus 13 tells us. The stretch above the 200 day moving average is down to 4.61% which puts it at the lower boundaries of bullish. It's coded yellow meaning it's as weak as it it is below average in weakness uh, compared to the last 180 days worth of stretch. The slope of the 50 day moving average is 0.27% which is coded yellow. Uh, we rate that as neutral and it has declined a little bit with the selling in the last two days. ADX remains under 15, which is sideways or non-trending. And we'll see that minus DI is stronger than plus DI, which suggests that any strength of trend is forming on the bearish side. ATR percentage at 1.16% is at the high range of normal. Where market is oversold on a short-term basis. Uh, the equities were strong earlier in the week, but finished very weak, and uh, volatility has been slowly increasing. We rebalanced our monthly portfolio this uh, week, and 331 is now holding U.S. real estate emerging markets and treasuries. 631 is holding U.S. real estate mid caps and small caps. Quarterly rebalancing will be due on uh, 1 July. It's holding right now diamonds, mid caps, and small caps. Uh, in ETF2, we're selling IJK and XRT. The theoretical exposure of the model is at 0% with the two cells. Uh, our model portfolio will be at 20%. Looking at the market health check, um, the vertical blue lines represent 10, 20, and 30 day look back periods. The solid purple line at 137 is the previous swing high from uh, 2nd of May. The dotted purple line was the previous swing high at about 134. You can see that that has actually been uh, resistance on the last two surges up. The solid red line where price is testing right now is the 5% uh, pullback from the previous swing high. That's the boundary of random noise. Uh, if it breaks below that uh, as it has right here, uh, we can say we're just starting into the next 5% of a pullback which would be classified as a normal pullback within a uh, bull market and that would be a price that's between 5 and 10 percent uh, off the uh, swing high. The solid black line in the middle is the 30-day regression line which has rolled over and is sloping downward. The outer two black lines are the channel of the regression line formed by the maximum excursion during the look back period uh, which, uh, which was the 30th day ago. Uh, the uh, Williams percent R10, the short-term market condition is oversold. And the uh, long-term uh, market condition uh, on, a, on an annual Williams percent R, you can see, has uh, come down out of overbought and is now, for the first time in about uh, two and a half months, uh, back to the upper limit of normal. The last time it did that was on this previous pullback to the 125 uh, position here in uh, late March. Looking at ETF2 index summary, all 10 are negative on a five week rate of return, which puts the allocation strategy at 0% invested, 100% cash. EFA at 58 is now stronger than the US, which is at 54. That's the first time that's happened in about three months. Inside the U.S., the mid caps are better than the uh, large caps, which are better than the small caps, which are better than technology. The two strongest sectors are IEV, the European 350, and EFA, which is the Euro-Asia large cap blend. The two weakest sectors are Japan and Latin America. The world market model. Uh, little change in inside the U.S. from last week. Uh, the small cap growth is still in the green uh, with a band of above average 
as you can see among the mid caps and the blends and then the all the large caps and all the value coming in uh, below average compared to the rest of the database in yellow. Uh, all the commodities staged uh, a, a recovery this week. Uh, even oil has come up uh, in strength. Gold is looking really powerful right now. Uh, it's less volatile than silver has been. And um, over on the Swiss franc, this FXF uh, is still uh, the commodity or the uh, currency of um, of safety right now. As uh, we, it's hard to choose on a strength basis between Europe, Asia, and the U.S. right now, and so the Swiss franc is actually showing some uh, exceptional strength. Inside the uh, business sectors, the defensive sectors of staples, utilities, and healthcare remain strong. Uh, in Asia, Malaysia and Singapore remain the islands of strength and weakness still in uh, China, Taiwan, and India. Latin American emerging markets, Canada and Brazil, all below average, with only Mexico above average among the emerging markets. And in Europe, Switzerland distinguishing itself from just about everybody else in terms of stability. This is a market that looks very worried. In the uh, 100 by 200 crossover system, uh, little to no change. Um, the uh, top 30 ETFs based on uh, strength from the ETF2, Swiss franc, and Switzerland, right at the top of the list. That bears some attention. Uh, otherwise, we have strength still in biotech, healthcare, uh, gold, um, healthcare again, healthcare. Uh, some grains and agriculture creeping back up to the top. Sweden, Austria, Australia, based on their, uh, Australia based on strength in the in the commodities. Uh, natural gas has had some tactical strength, which accounts for its uh, uh, green status. The fact that currencies are moving to the top here is uh, an indication that uh, we're we're experiencing an equity slowdown. Uh, around the world. The most liquid uh, of the ETFs based on average daily dollar volume of the last 30 days. Uh, you can see um, Russell 2000 really starting to dominate uh, uh, the technology shares and even EEM is now catching up to the queues in terms of tradability. Silver and gold remain in positions 5 and 6 and with silver being uh, almost four times as volatile as gold. And uh, the volatility in the VIX has cut way down. Uh, I would expect to see that getting traders' attention if we see some more weakness in equities. And that's a review of the weekly uh, re uh, report. Uh, this is Ken Long at Tortoise Capital. Keep your powder dry and your risk measured.